the conversation of is this a smash killer is actually getting super old like straight up it's getting so old or smash killing something because let's face it not every platform fighter needs to be smash not every platform fighter needs to have the same mechanics as smash to be a good platform fighter smash paved the way don't get me wrong smash 100 percent paved the way it inspires almost everything even inspires other games that aren't necessarily platform fighters at their core but like straight up it's such a tired discussion like i'm so tired of hearing it i was tired of hearing it with nickelodeon and i, I don't even play that game i don't like that game i was excited for it yo man oh my god but it, it, it like it had some stuff it, it felt like nickelodeon tried to be smash but then at the end of the day, could not execute it properly, and it is what it is. For this game, it is already doing so much better than Smash in different areas. And guess what? If you try to say, well, Smash has better gameplay, that's your opinion, right? If you like this game more than Smash, that's your opinion, your preference, vice versa. Who's to say two great platform fighters can't coexist? They don't they're not going to kill each other like straight up from developer support on multiverses in you have developers that listen that are prioritizing the player's experience before anything else the creativity the love even just the little things the little details in the game are all in multiverses smash delivers in a sense of also good gameplay but from the developer standpoint, I honestly feel like they couldn't give a damn about us. Really, we're not the, the, the core demographic. The competitive scene is not the core demographic. No matter how much special moments and beautiful things we create out of Smash, the devs are never going to care. I'm sorry. Nintendo of America, in my opinion, probably has so much that they've wanted to do for so long but japan is the one that controls everything guys and if they feel like they're doing everything correct and they're prideful and they don't want to listen to nobody else guess what we're getting bodied no matter what all we got so far from them is a nintendo logo on our grassroots tournaments that we as a community created and no pop bonuses nothing are uh, we should talk in nintendo that's it yeah 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 yeah, yeah. yo yo mute real oh. quick mute real quick i'm going on <laughs> oh okay i'm going off i mean you don't gotta mute if you don't want to i don't care you got your coffee oh he muted <laughs> come back like straight up they just slap their logo and run ads for new games what do, what are we getting out of that i want to know what are we what are we getting out of that i want to know what are we gonna get nothing we don't get anything we get backpacks and, and and tournaments with items on and shit that obviously the competitive community doesn't want but that's what we get we get backpacks the winner for evo japan of smash ultimate no bread here's a golden pro controller like bro are you kidding me like are you kidding me so already smash on the developer side Compared to multiverses, since everybody wants to compare these games so bad, Smash is taking the fattest fucking L. The fattest L. In the entirety of each Smash title, tell me how much money Nintendo has given us. Tell me how much they've even suggested putting down. It's been over a decade, matter of fact, man, it's been decades, bro. The alpha of this game, 100k top 32 is getting paid out you want to be a commentator you want to be a player in this game right here you're going to be taken care of wb has you pfg has you nintendo you're getting a golden pro controller in japan they can't even some of their tournaments right bro i watched kamame win a tournament a hard-ass tournament and get a bag of rice as a prize hey what? hey don't that i'll i'll 
I don't know if I was at that tournament or not. I might have been. You want the rice? I might have been there with you. Yeah, you that was the a, rice? That was a big it was ass a big bag, ass of, bag rice, of rice, bro. But you want bro, the rice, it was man? a big ass bag of rice. Damn rice! I could get the rice at the supermarket. I, I would have had to ship that home. Come on, that, that bag bro. of rice was gigantic. I'm not trying to dude. hear this no more, bro. You don't want a giant bag <laughs> of rice? No. <laughs> why not? I just I don't want money. That's why they coming over here. They want money. <laughs> Gosh, imagine dedicating your life to being so good at something. You watch all these other games. They don't even, some of these games aren't even supported by a triple A company and they are getting bags, period, bro. And we're sitting here getting pro controllers, book bags and switch cases. Fuck a switch case, man. Are you kidding me? Yo, low key, I got a scratch on my switch. Oh, okay, I'm, t I'm tired of void. <laughs> so think about this, right? So go from there, right? Who do we talk to? From Nintendo of Japan. One, nobody. So guess what? At least with WB and PFG, they're very hands-on, listening to the community, talking directly with people. I'm in a freaking podcast with the game director tomorrow. Been working with them, talking to them, chatting it up. I built friendships with these people. They don't even just feel like, oh, these are the guys that made the game. Oh, this is WB, this company. Like these are actual people that sitting down having conversations with building relationships with so you even take it outside of the game nintendo takes another fat l because i genuinely in my heart and it makes me sad feel like they do not care about us they don't get it and again this isn't at nintendo of america a hundred percent i'm coming for nintendo of japan nintendo of america is marketing japan are the pe they're the ones that make the choices i feel like nintendo of japan looks at us like a mosquito on the wall it, it, it sucks so yes <laughs> you want to do comparisons about killers guess what smash is a beautiful game with a beautiful cast of characters straight up even going outside into third party gorgeous i will always love smash i will always play smash great game multiverses brings a unique experience great gameplay and an ever-growing cast of characters, to be honest, because like I was saying before, they own so many different properties. Like I said earlier, I didn't even know Pennywise was owned by WB. I'm learning new things each time from Cartoon Network, Looney Tunes, HBO Max, movies, D uh, DC, Game of Thrones, you name it, there's always something new. Boomerang, I could keep going. Anime, WB Japan, Mob Psycho. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Bro, like, I can dead ass keep going. It's crazy. So I think the ceiling for this game is actually endless where Smash... Oh, well. Last character came out. All the patches are done. All right, guys. Game's done. See ya. We're out of here. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> and cool. We got those DLC characters. It was great. Game's done. This game will continue to have characters. We'll continue to get support. Free to play. Pots for tournaments. They have so much planned that they probably haven't even told us. You guys have no idea, bro. So yeah, as a person that likes platform fighters, I'm all in and on this game, 100%. There's no reason not to. Straight up, and I could still play Smash. But why, for what, am I gonna sit here and wait for year 12 for Nintendo to be like, oh, all right, we might support you guys. But, yo, slap our logo on this tournament so we can run some ads. Maybe we'll support you. Fuck no. I'm going to go to the people that actually give a damn about us. As players and as people. Straight up. And this is beautiful, bro. You get to see, like, like look at all of this, man. Everything was so carefully thought out. From the, the, the even the friends list tab. To the battle pass to the collection bro there's just so much you can do it's crazy ring outs announcers badges banners you can customize this to make it as beautiful as possible and have it represent you as much as you can you got emotes you got animated emotes stickers bro there's so much in this game every little thing thought out i saw velma crouch on the ground and i saw the the, the screen go blurry because she drops her glasses that's hilarious that's cool voice acting not only that unique voice acting between characters bro so there's dialogue specifically set between characters they went ham bro they tried their best to make sure every little thing was thought out 
and it all paid off. I genuinely love this game, dog. Like straight up. I genuinely love this game and I'm gonna keep playing it. Thank you for the 10 subs, Slayer Pixel. I appreciate that shit. I'm gonna keep playing it. I can't wait to see this roster years from now. You, you can't you play if you don't ready up. Man, come on, man. I'm talking. All right, I'm already up right now. I'm talking, man. Damn. You said you at the end of your talk. Don't act like you're not. End of the talk. Don't act like you're not. I'm still going, bro. You can keep going. We're leaderboard. We actually have a leaderboard. You can see data, stats. You can't get this in Smash, man. You can't. A better online experience. Oh my God, I didn't talk about the online. You can actually play this game online and have it feel damn near like you're playing offline. But when I cut on my switch, if I cut on my switch in the corner right there, I'm playing Smash moving like this. The fact that Smash 3DS's Wi-Fi is comparable to LAN adapter ultimate, that is embarrassing. That is a mockery, a disgrace. And they shipped it out and not once did they ever try to improve it. So you mean to tell me the game that I'm practicing for tournament changes so much online that basically I'm fighting a different matchup or a different character when I go offline when it's the same goddamn character? Disgraceful. You got me twisted, bro. You got me twisted. And it sucks that I have to talk about Smash like this because I love Smash Brothers. Smash Brothers has shaped my life for years. From kid to adult. Straight up. But you cannot tell me that I have no right to be frustrated. It is the worst fucking thing ever. So to see something come out that's equally as fun, but with all that other stuff that they're just doing right, it makes me not want to cut on my Switch and even touch Smash. Straight up. So if you want to talk about killers, there is no killer. Smash has been around for so long, and it's such a special game, it will always exist. But this right here will be able to coexist with Smash 100%. Watch. Watch. And you got to pay for that garbage online. You got me... <laughs> yeah, all right. So if other people want to hear about Smash killers and that played out conversation, we could talk Fingers about it. Coming from a Smasher, by the way. The sentiment is shared, by the way. I guarantee you it's not just me. Shout-outs to WB and PFG, man. Keep, keep doing y'all thing. Y'all killing it.